The Virtual Game Station (VGS) was an emulator by Connectix that allows Sony PlayStation games to be played on a desktop computer. It was first released for the Macintosh in 1999. VGS was created by Aaron Giles. The recompiling CPU emulator was written by Eric Trott, released at a time when the Sony PlayStation was at its peak of popularity. Virtual Game Station was the first PlayStation emulator, for any platform, that enabled games to run at full speed on modest computer hardware, and the first that supported the vast majority of PlayStation games. It was advertised to run at full speed on the original iMac G3 233 of a megahertz system relying on its built-in ATI graphics hardware, and in some cases it was able to run on 200 megahertz 604E systems reasonably well. The impact of this product was huge as it changed the available Macintosh game library from a very small, select group to nearly the entire collection of PlayStation games. Graphics could be run full screen, at full speed. Several PlayStation-type hand controllers became available with VGS in mind. The only lacking features were the ability to receive DualShock Force feedback or use light guns. VGS was initially released for NTSC-based PlayStation games but later versions were made for PAL-based games. Like the PS1, only games released for the selected VGS system could be run. Copied games would not work either, although it didn't take too long for the hacker community to release a mod chipped version. Versions 1.1 and 1.2 of VGS attempted to make modding more difficult but were soon modded as well. VGS proved to be extremely popular, as it cost less than half the price of a PlayStation and did not require any extra hardware. VGS was later ported to Microsoft Windows. It was slightly less popular there due to competition with other emulators such as Bleem, though it did have better compatibility. Sony perceived VGS as a threat, and filed a lawsuit against Connectix for copyright infringement. The case was eventually closed in favor of Connectix, but Connectix was unable to sell the software in the meantime because Sony had been awarded a temporary injunction. Soon thereafter, Sony purchased VGS from Connectix and discontinued it. By then the PlayStation 2 was nearly out and the original PlayStation was at the end of its peak, with people looking toward the next generation consoles.